Hi, I'm Tom Russell, Senior Editor of Case Goods and Global Sourcing for Furniture Today. As many of you know, we traveled to Vietnam in 2019. This year, we decided to travel to the Western Hemisphere, a little closer to home, so we chose Mexico. Mexico, as many of you know, has been a sourcing destination for the furniture industry for many years. Mexico really came on strong during the 1990s with rustic furniture, rusticos as, as many people call it. But trends continue to evolve. So has Mexico as we learned through our visits to a half a dozen factories there. Mexico has been in the news for several other reasons, largely negative in nature. Illegal emigration has been a huge topic, also the illegal drug trade. There's been some negative connotations about Mexico over the years related to safety issues. But they were a little bit afraid to come because they were saying they was too dangerous in Mexico. Every place in the world is dangerous if you go to the wrong place. We travel and work all over the world and there's just common sense precautions that you take regardless of where you are. Mexico has an incredibly positive side. Not only is it a beautiful place to visit, but it's also got some really state-of-the-art furniture production, and that's making it a huge player in furniture. In fact, in 2019, it was the fourth largest exporter of furniture to the U.S. One of the key advantages that Mexico has had is that we share a common border. And what that does is make Mexico very efficient so you could have maybe a four to five lead time with product coming from Mexico automatically erasing about close three to four weeks on the water from Asia. One of the main advantages is speed. Yes. Speed in all areas. Product ships in traditionally four weeks. Transit time is traditionally five days, but it's also speed in development. Let's say we show something in Las Vegas a few weeks ago, we're shipping it in two weeks. Mm. And this speed to market has another interesting component. When you ship directly on truckloads, there's a lot of flexibility. They can build a truckload almost in any configuration that they wish. We all do handmade products. You can decide if you want 20 items of one SKU, 20 of another, instead of having a full truckload, a full container of the same product. Is the customer had to keep a, a big warehouse in the States because of the, the time from China or from Vietnam, the delivery time. In Mexico, the warehouse, we, we can be the warehouse. Another interesting thing about Mexico that we learned, their material story. Things like um, coppers, marbles, stones, different other metals that they use, that's all from Mexico. Another advantage is that we have good suppliers. So we can fill all those certif certifications and all the needs of the market. In Guadalajara, uh, where we make Copper Canyon, for example, Copper yes. Canyon collection, many years ago, we started off buying from Arauco. Arauco is, uh, is probably one of the largest uh, wood suppliers in the world. Sustainable resources. Yeah. Well. Yes, Big reforestation process. I understand that for every tree that they cut down, they plant seven trees That's to, re huge. to replace yes. that. We had the opportunity to visit about six factories. Now, one of the largest and most interesting players is International Furniture Direct, IFD for short. They're huge newsmakers because they just opened last year a close to 700,000 square foot plant spread over about roughly five buildings. Brand new state of the art. It's almost like seeing a factory over in Asia. It's really impressive. We want to create our own image our own product. Everything that you see is internal design. Some of our customers, it gives you a sense of um, tranquility because they are dealing just with one person. All our product is solid. We don't use any veneers. That's not our tradition, that's not what we do. We cannot make anything exactly the same because it's no paper. No, that's right. <laughs>
Hollywood. That's better than paper. Any day. Yes, any, any day. day. Any, any day. day of the week. Any day. Any day. Because Hollywood is going to last you forever. Another major producer that we saw is, is KUKA, which um, has its operations based over in China. Tariffs have had some impact on their operations, so they all have also started in Vietnam and now Mexico. Uh, we like this location. We're about eight kilometers from uh, Interstate 85, which is the direct link to um, the U.S. border in Laredo, which is about two, two and a half hours away. It's actually been part of our long-term strategic plan really for several years now. The idea behind Mexico is to supply special orders to our U.S. customers with fast turnaround. Now we presently do special orders out of China with 12 to 14 week delivery, but a lot of our, our key customers have told us if we want to continue to grow with them as we have in the past, it's, it's critical that we supply custom order at a much faster turnaround. We will be starting with quite a few skilled workers from China, yeah. especially in the cutting and the sewing part, and they'll be providing uh, on-the-job training then yes. for the Mexican labor force as well. It, it's similar to what we've done in Vietnam and it's worked very well there. Yeah. But I've, a lot of the meetings I've sat through have to be in three different languages, so meetings take two or three times longer than normal. This is a long-term deal for us. It's a huge investment over the long term. And uh, the value proposition might change slightly, but still will be a tremendous value coming out of here, even if the tariffs go away altogether. We had the good fortune also to be able to visit Palliser Furniture, Canadian company, but very global in its whole approach to sourcing and, and producing product. But they've been in Mexico since probably at the early 80s. So what, why Mexico? What's been so good about it for Palliser? Yes. When you're looking and evaluating, you know, yes. where are our opportunities to move into, Mexico is a pretty attractive it's, place to, to, me it's to, to move to. Attractive. What helps us is that some of our competitors do offer customization, but they offer customization from China, from Vietnam. Yes. And so that customization still, you know, it's eight to 12 weeks. Yeah, it's, so yeah. how great is it to be able to get what you want and get it within 30, 30 days? days? Like that's, that's really it's wonderful. They also have a, a refugee program. It is welcoming these refugees, Central America, other areas. They are offering them training and jobs. Horizon Home was a, another facility that we visited. They deal primarily with about six factories. That allows Horizon Home to really kind of get best of both worlds. Where we come in, when we partner up with a factory, is that we try to bring that factory up to a, a new level. Yes. Each factory's got its own uniqueness, but still we participate in there by giving them the engineering, by giving them the design, and by placing technical people inside the factory. A lot of these factories were born building rustic, and rustic was very, very forgiving. <laughs> yeah. And if it had a little crack or this or that, you know. It was part of the look. It was it's part, right. of, it was part can, of the you look. You explain it right away. Yeah. Now you put a finish on product and it's got a crack, well that's not gonna fly. And since we're working with multiple factories, you have to have your army of people. That everything goes through a filter. So the end product is consistent. We try to teach our, our partners here in Puebla is that the competition is not the factory across the street. The competition is global. We're here to stay. We made our roots here, and uh, we'll just keep on growing. Santa Fe Rosticos. Now this is an interesting company. They have finishing capabilities that are almost second to none based on what we've seen coming out of Mexico. Probably some of the most exquisite finishes in the business. High-end looks, um, I think at a value price but excellent in their execution. We, when we were there, I mean, we saw so much hands-on. It was incredible. The finish is 70% uh, of our product. Mm -hmm. Of course, the good is the same, mm -hmm. you know, the hardware is the same, yeah. Yeah. but the finish is unique. It makes it, makes it special, it makes it one of a kind. This factory has 27 years old, and mm -hmm. I have in my own house furniture of 27 years old, mm -hmm. this furniture is for life. 
One of the other factories we visited was Nero Lupo, which has been around probably for a good 25, close to 30 years down in Mexico. They've got the passion, the energy, the dynamic to execute this line of case goods in a really successful way. We create Nero Lupo for the American market. What we try to do is do always something different. Yes. We like to have our own, our own passion, our, our, our own art. Somebody says, to me, when are you going to get retired? When I'm get that, because I love what I do. So our trip to Mexico was very successful. We saw a lot of good factories there, met a lot of good people. The, the culture is very open, willing to do business with their North American neighbor. So there's a lot of opportunity in Mexico right now. One of the interesting comments that we heard was from Steve Lush, president of Home North America. He said, as companies continue to look for alternatives to China, it will be interesting to see if more companies choose Mexico and how that will change the local industry and our perception of our southern neighbor. So there you have it, folks. Look for more on FurnitureToday.com and in our print edition for the week of April 6th.